Well, howdy everybody. Tri Kobo here. And I thought I would uh, go over a few things on this Cat Trike 700 with you that I've been writing about. The first thing I want to do is, uh, I guess we can just start at the front of the trike. If we can get a focus here. Okay. <clears throat> Got the crank set here. And <clears throat> this 30 tooth ring comes stock on this trike. So it's a 30, it was a 30 tooth small ring, a 39 and a 52 large ring. Well, it's better, they've gone down to a 39 large ring, or a 39 middle ring now. They used to run 42s, um, kind of like a double, 42, 53, but uh, obviously a 39 is a better choice for people that ride trikes and this 30 tooth that I'm holding in my hand here is way too big. I mean if you're going to go up any serious hills you don't want this thing. So what I've done is I've put on a 28 tooth which is fine most of the time. In fact it uh, really gets me up the hills well. The only drawback to that is if you're touring and you have heavy load, you might want to go to a 26, which I'm actually contemplating um, for this uh, trip up to the Columbia River in August. So basically, I have a, a 28, 39, 52. And the closer these are together, the easier that the trike shifts. Okay, on the pedals, I've gone with these Shimano um, PD-A520, I think what they're called. These are really nice pedals. They're single-sided, uh, SPD clip. And I really like these a lot. Um, okay, uh, here, Catrite comes now with this uh, boom that has the little numbers on it for adjustment but really you know once you set this if you're the only person who rides the trike which most of us probably are you never need to set it again so these numbers I mean you know they may look nice or something but I, it probably look better just black I mean if you had multiple people riding it in one of those adjuster things in here sure you know uh, mine is set here at 29 but it's never going to change. It's always going to be that for me. So the numbers are kind of unnecessary. Here we have the, this is a clamp. If you ever wondered, this clamp holds the frame together um, tight against the boom so your boom doesn't move when you pedal. And it's a quick release, which, you know, that's, that's great. Uh, uh, makes it easy if you are uh, running more than one person on your trike. Other trike manufacturers, uh, such as ICE and others, use, uh, they don't use this clamp uh, assembly to hold their frame tight against the boom. They use two bolts that go through two holes, um, but those bolts deform, and over time they, they actually warp and they break um, because as you tighten the frame, the, the bolts do not remain straight. Okay, uh, I, I've mounted a little water bottle holder here. Uh, it mounts on the uh, on this uh, piece, and I've got these uh, specialized purest water bottles, which are great. They're very uh, they don't taste like plastic. They're BPA free, and they have a new patented nozzle or. Um, spout here that does not dribble like most bicycle water bottles uh, do. Okay, a, a nice feature on the new cat trikes are these little wrist rests. And when you're riding, your wrist actually can rest on this. And they are foam, very soft. And you can get replacements directly from Cat Trike because eventually they wear out. 
but uh, for taking overland journeys like I do, these are incredible. Now the mirrors, uh, the new cat tracks come with a piece of frame, or not frame, but steel or metal, aluminum, I guess, that comes up here to mount the mirror, actually up here, along with the computer mount. I don't run gadgets and um, gizmos on my trike, such as computers, so, and I didn't like the looks of it anyway. So I put my mirrors in the ends of the bars here. And I only use one L in the mirror to keep it short. I like the custom bob to look like that. Now there are little, there are pieces of plastic. When you get the trike, there are pieces of plastic in the ends of these uh, bar tubes. And it appears that you can just pop them out. Well, you can't pop them out because they go into the tube about an inch and a half. Um, and they have kind of this one-way uh, webbing on it that they don't pull out. And I found out in the first one I tried to pry it out and I couldn't. Uh, basically what I ended up doing, the second one went easier. I, I just used an ice pick, punched a hole in it, took a ring shank nail, uh, stuck it in, uh, drove a ring shank nail in, which doesn't slip, and then put a pair of vice grips and I just worked it out. And then the mirrors can go in there. So I just want to let you know about that little surprise if you decide you want to put your mirrors there because it keeps the mirrors nice and low. And uh, I like them. I have full visibility. I don't have to move my head to see over my arm or anything like that. On the new cat trike seats, they have padding along here so you are not contacting the frame, which is really, really nice. Underneath here, on the left side, kind of behind your lumbar region, there is a little pouch, actually quite large, about uh, uh, 10 inches long by about 4 inches. And in that pouch, I keep my road tools, which is great. I don't have to put them in my uh, cargo bags anyplace. They just go right in there, which is outstanding. And Another thing on the seat here, right up front, under here, there is a little pouch that you can put a cell phone in or keys or anything like that. Um, and it even has Velcro to hold the zipper so it doesn't fall down. Now right here behind the seat is uh, a place where you can put your pump. I have I used to have one of those Topeak road morphs, but now I have this Lazine. It's a small pump, which I actually like better, and it fits right in there. Now let me do that again. I didn't think I had the camera on it. The pump just fits right into this little tube here, and then there's a Velcro fastener that holds it in place. Always out of the way. Um, I got the black one so it doesn't even show. Nobody even knows it's down there. Okay, on the back here, oh, I got my new uh, wild child patch on the seat. Uh, on the back here, I mounted uh, a couple water bottles with these Minura, Minura uh, bottle mounts. And I got the white to match the paint of the trike. Um, those are kind of a pain to put on the first time, but uh, you'll figure it out. They're well made at least. I put a little bit of tape underneath here, and then there are little plastic shims that go, uh, that you put underneath the metal so the paint doesn't get scratched. Here are the Arkell bags made specifically for cat trike. They're about two and a half liters on each side. And they, uh, they fill in that little frame area on cat trikes, which is perfect, out of the way. 
Uh, you can put your toiletry bag or you know anything you want in there. Really, it's a, it's a convenient little little niche. The headrest I finally got figured out. Uh, I originally had it way back here, and it wasn't comfortable at all. But by moving it forward, uh, it puts me in a more vertical position, so I can see better anyway. And um, the neck rest it becomes a non-issue as far as comfort. The the neck rest is thin lycra and already in just over 100 miles I've kind of worn a spot in it here but that's partly because the hat I wear uh, was rubbing on it but I, I moved the headrest down a little neck rest down a little bit and that will probably take care of it. Um, okay as you know from what I've been writing I put an aero spoke uh, carbon fiber hybrid wheel on here. Here is what came from the factory. It's a Velocity A23 wheel and actually that wheel cost $325 and the aero spoke is $367. So they're pretty close. Um, the, and uh, oh here are my, here are my uh, the stock tires. So I put Schwalbe Marathon plus tires on here, 20 by 135 on the front, and uh, they, they don't, uh, they're not that much larger actually than the Duranos. These Schwalbe Marathon Plus tires, and on the back, let's see, I have a Schwalbe Marathon Plus uh, 700 by 35C, which is a fairly good size. You can get smaller ones in the back, but this works just fine and uh, putting these tires on made a world of difference. I mean, I, I, I just can't explain to you how much softer this trike rides now than it did with the Duranos. Duranos are a single purpose tire, uh, but I'm, I don't use this trike for a single purpose, so I needed a tire that uh, did everything. So I, I went to my old standby, um, the Marathon Plus, which uh, is essentially a flat proof tire. It's not that it can't happen, but I haven't had it happen in five years. This new seat on the, uh, this mesh on the Catrike seats is superior to what I had on my 2007 um, ICE trike. Of course, ICE has improved theirs too uh, during the time period, but this seat is extremely comfortable. Okay, back to the wheel here. This wheel is built inside of a velocity um, rim. You can see the velocity rim here, and the aero spoke is built inside of it. Velocity and aero spoke are both located in Michigan, and so aero spoke uh, gets their rims from velocity uh, without holes in them, because obviously there's no spokes. And, that, and inside of that, the aerospoke wheel, which is extremely strong, uh, hollow tubes with a cross member in them. Uh, but this is a, a very strong wheel, very fast, uh, very aerodynamic, and I like it uh, quite a bit. The uh, cassette here is the one that I took off the stock wheel. It's an 11 to 36. Now when you do this, if you get one of these aerospoke wheels, when you take the cassette off the A23, there are little spacers, you know, between all this. So you, so you have to be careful to get those all in the right place. And, and on the A23, there's a little spacer that goes um, against the spider here on the 30, that holds the 36. Uh, and I put that on here originally, but with that spacer on, then the last two cogs that are joined together actually do not slide on to the spline. So I left that spacer out, put it on, it worked just fine, but then I had to do a slight adjustment with the derailleur. Uh, it, would, it would shift fine all the way up to the ring right next to the 36, but it wouldn't go to the 36, but that was a a little simple adjustment that my friend Matt 
uh, he and I got that tuned in uh, just right. So, oh, and if you do that, make sure you grease the uh, spline before you put that on. Okay, now, yesterday uh, I received from Cat Trike my Planet Bike rear 700C fender. And here it is. This used to come stock on the 700, but it no longer does. If you want it, you have to pay extra. Um, I have front fenders as well. I haven't put them on yet. But there has always been talk, as long as I've been into triking, about how you can't put a big tire on a Cat Trike 700 something that will really give you a, a, a soft, fun ride like this marathon without flats. Uh, because they say there's no room. Well, as you can see, there is room clearance here. All you, all you have to do is move the neck rest mounts, just rotate them forward. You've got plenty of clearance. And I can still rotate it forward more if I have to. And so with the new, then they say, okay, well, you might get the tire in, but you won't get a fender. But the fender is going to fit fine. I'm going to have to move the neck rest forward just a little bit more uh, because, uh, well, I may not actually, but it's going to be just fine. So. If you hear somebody tell you that uh, you can't put different tires on a 700 and you can't use a fender, it's a bunch of hooey. It's absolutely not true. Okay, let's see. Uh, we've started from the front and gone to the rear. Uh, oh, I'll be mounting a, I'll show you my light, which is a Planet Bike mounts right here, this little uh, piece of metal that cat -trike welds coming off from the frame of the uh, derailleur post allows you to put a light mount. This one got welded on a little bit uh, crooked. It's not 90 degrees, but I think it'll still work with my light. And then I have an old man mountain Sherpa rack, which is going to go on the trike here. And that will hold my Arkale tail rider trunk on top, and also my Arkale um, dry light panniers which weigh only 14 ounces, not even a pound, the actual weight of the cargo bags, whereas the, the Arkell GT54s that I used to have weighed 6.6 .6 pounds. So I'm going to uh, save quite a bit of weight just in the bags alone, which is incredible. Okay, uh, I, think, I think that's about it. I'm not... Uh, going to go over all the features of the 700 because you can see that on the Cat Trike website. But uh, there you kind of have a little rundown. Three water bottles, 26 ounces each. Uh, I'm going to have uh, about 74 liters of cargo volume on this trike for touring, which is more than enough for me now after five years of doing this uh, finally figured out how to do it light and fast and, uh, which is more fun and it doesn't uh, cause any uh, pain in your feet so that's about it I guess the uh, Cat Trike 700 uh, which I have affectionately named Wild child. Okay, over and out.